Well, hey there, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. Well, back to you with another quick uh, thrift store pickup. And I thought this one warranted its own video because this is kind of unusual, especially in this day and age of uh, digital media, actually solid state media. Um, I found this at the local thrift store, the CHKD, where I get most of my stuff. And uh, I'm really excited to have this because I remember these from back in the day. And if you haven't guessed what it is yet, it is a pack of CDRs, but it's a 200 pack. Um, I paid $4.98 for these. And as you can see, the brand there is Prime Peripherals. Now, this is a company that manufactured discs under many different names, but Back around 2000, when I went to the uh, tech center in my area, we were just getting uh, computers in, and we were transitioning over from uh, an electronics class to a computer repair class. And I was one of the lucky ones to actually get a CD burner. It was a SCSI CD burner. Uh, it only burned, I think, right around 2 or 4x, but of course, since I was one of the only ones that had it, we were copying discs left and right back then. We, we were teenagers, we didn't care. And I'll never forget, the discs that we used were these exact same ones, uh, Prime Peripherals. These are 80 minute, 700 megabyte discs, so these are not the older ones. Um, the ones, I'm actually surprised because this is from right around the year 2000, and 99, 2000, they were still using the 650 megabyte, 74 minute discs, but it's nice that these have the uh, full functionality. Prime Peripheral CDR discs provide 700 megabytes on a write once storage, so these are not rewritable, discs using your CD writer. Whether your distribution applications such as pre-press software, uh, development, multimedia production, digital imaging, or archiving. Of course, we used to use this a lot for music. <laughs> CDRs offer compatibility and great value for your investment. And you can go ahead and pause and read this if you want, but one thing I did want to show you guys is it is certified up to 16x, which for the time was very quick. Like I said, these are from right around the year 2000, and I'll show you where it says on the box. And I remember our fastest burner would only burn at 4x, and again, those were SCSI burners at the time. Uh, tested up to 100 year archival life. Now I think that's funny. How can they have tested this for 100 years? These aren't 100 years old. Basically what they do is they simulate the worst possible conditions you would keep these discs in. So, uh, I don't know. If any of us are around 100 years, uh, we'll be able to know for sure. <laughs> Back to basics, bulk savings. Now, if you look on the side here, I'll show you where it says that they are from 2000. And I, the total cost for this, I do have the receipt here after tax, was $5.28. Let's go ahead and open these up real quick and I'll show you what they look like. Now, they have been, one pack has been used, but I don't think there were maybe one or two discs actually used out of it. You can see they actually come in these two spindles here. I'm going to go ahead and first take the spindle out that hasn't been used. Now you can see they are 100 each, and I'm not surprised. This is a very, very typical. Uh, type of spindle for uh, CDRs. One thing I really wish they did though is they actually had a lid on it. That way, you know, I wouldn't have to transfer these to something else because you could see that it does have a little round base, but it's very unstable. Luckily in my room, I actually have a few uh, 100 pack cases that I've been saving for probably several years now. I'll go ahead and pull this one out too. Maybe we can see exactly how many of these discs were used. If you look there, you can see there's a little difference there. I would say maybe 10 or so discs were actually used out of this pack. It wasn't very many, so I figured it was still worth it. And nice thing about these are still wrapped is there's not going to be any um, chemical degradation like there may be with this pack, because these are getting on the older side. Looking on top here, you see it does say Prime Peripherals. There's your 80 minute 700 megabytes gives you ample space for a title and the contents of the disc. Now one thing I love about these, you can actually see the blue tint. This is the older chemical. Um, the modern discs you get now, they have more of like a greenish tint, almost maybe like a yellowish tint, and it's not as thick of a recording surface, so those CDs tend to get scratched very easily. 
and skip, whereas these, at least in my opinion, I've noticed last a lot longer. Now, another way you can tell quality is go ahead and hold the disc up to the light. Now, I'm holding this up to direct sunlight. You know, it's through the blinds, but it should still be ample to do this test. And as you can see, you don't really see any light coming through. Maybe just a little bit where it says that CDR. That's a good thing because you don't want light reflecting through the disc. Um, I've had issues where I've recorded uh, with discs that are very, very cheap and they're very translucent and they have problems playing in um, certain CD-ROMs and CD players, especially ones that were made uh, pre like 2000. I have a couple from the 80s that give me a lot of trouble with that. So yeah, this was just a quick video of my find today, which was the Prime Peripherals 200 pack of the CDRs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.